an upgrade to the solar shed. Up on top of the roof there, there's a solar panel. So let's just get in here. And the battery box, which is lithium ion battery pack, is showing 12.6 volts. And that runs various different things in the shed here. Just uh, there we go. So we've got lighting, <laughs> camera slide, bits of wood hanging out all over the place. Forgot about those bad boys. Check it out. Big, fat, hairy solar panels. Wonder if we can rig those up to the top of the shed. Right then, time to bust out the meter. This is always good fun. 21.28 volts DC. And that should be the same for both cells. Yeah, almost 22 volts. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Shall we, yeah, shall we be naughty? Let's have a look and see what kind of short circuit current we get. Two, 1.8 amps. That's actually not bad, 1.8 amps. So 40 watts, approximately 40 watts per panel, which means we've got about 80 watts of power in full sun there. Right, let's get them on the roof and uh, get them wired up. Uh, here to stop the panels from blowing away in any strong winds. We do get some pretty strong winds down here. Digging through my racking, <laughs> I found this filthy, filthy switch. I'll test that it works, give it a clean up. Also found a bit of twin and earth. So um, we're going to put the two we're going to put the two solar panels in parallel. Uh, Twenty volts is about as much as we want, really. And um, yeah, that'll give us twenty volts at four amps. That's not bad. It's a twin and earth cable. It's a solid copper cable, and. Um, that's uh, on the output here, just wiring that in now. And uh, when we flick the switch to the on position, the two parallel solar panels should then go to the red and black on this twin and earth. So, uh, well, oh, let's get all that in place. Quite a lot of hard work. <laughs> Didn't take long though. So nothing at the minute. Let's turn it on. We're on. <laughs> 20 volts, well 20, 20 and a half volts. Right, let's see what kind of uh, short circuit current we get out of this then. Yeah, switch it to current Howard. There we go. Wow. 4.1 amp. That is epic. Okay. So just to give you a, a bit of a, an idea as to why this solar panel system is useful for me, I can charge up all of my tools like the Black & Decker. I've got a whole load of Black & Decker uh, hand tools, uh, hedge trimmers, drills, chainsaw, um, a strimmer, weed whacker, that kind of stuff. Um, so that gives me the ability to be able to charge up that. Over here I've got um, a lithium ion charging bank. Uh, one, thing, one thing that I enjoy doing is stripping down uh, old used laptop cells and finding good lithium ion batteries in them. 
and, and then making power banks like this guy up here. I'll just show you this guy. And also down on the floor here is a mobility scooter. And the mobility scooter has also got a lot of lithium ion cells in it. Almost sort of the size of, we're getting close to the size of a lithium ion power wall now. Forgot about that extra lighting. Um, but yeah, everything is solar powered in the shed now, and this is epic. So with a small mains inverter, I can even run my router um, and uh, a few of the other electrical tools in here. Uh, so maybe a kilowatt unit, something like that. But they're only about 30 or 40 quid, which ultimately means that my shed is completely off grid, which is cool. On top of that, I can actually throw a feed wire out to the van as well and keep the van batteries, both the leisure and the main battery charged because at the moment the van's going nowhere with the lockdown in place. So here's the other thing. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's, uh, it's wet, it's cold and it's miserable outside. Now previously I was unable to charge batteries uh, with the little solar panel that I showed you earlier. The little solar panel up on top of the roof. So the great news is, if you look at the battery voltage, the old panel wouldn't really give it a lot of charge. And when I flick the switch, ready, three, two, one. Look at that. So the little solar panel on the top of the shed definitely helps, but as you can see when we switched on the big solar panels on the top of the shed, even on a cloudy, rainy day, we're still getting a good charge voltage going into the, uh, into the battery here, into the power wall. So um, I think we'll probably be robbing the, uh, the lithium ion cells off the, uh, off the scooter at some point and maybe making a power wall or perhaps uh, making a power wall out of some of these other cells that I've collected. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> Plenty of cell stripping to do. <laughs> I've plugged this into my 12 volt soldering iron. And, oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> anyway, as always, thanks ever so much for watching. Here's a crazy guy by a fire after a hard day sorting out his shed. We've got another video coming soon about the shed um, because we actually get the motorbike out and sort the motorbike out and, and come across a whole bunch of other crazy bits and pieces in the shed that are worth sharing. So, um, so it'll be well worth checking that video out if you enjoyed this one. Okay, right, here's a crazy guy uh, by the fire with a glass of something nice talking about a piece of wood. <laughs> Cheers. This is what you need after a long, hard day sorting out your shed. A chilled out glass of something pleasant and a small fire. Burn all those bits of old wood. Stuff that you don't care about anymore. The thing is, it's terrible. I want to keep it because I just think, well, I could cut it down there and it could be used as angles for, for enclosures and stuff. Oh, whatever. Burn it. Get rid of it. No point in hanging on to stuff unnecessarily. Now, I'm going to say goodnight, people, because uh, I'm going to enjoy a couple more of these. Thanks ever so much for watching. Give us a good old thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe check out some of our other videos. Take care and more importantly, stay safe. Cheers guys. Bye for now. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes indeed fire and the shed there's the fire oh lovely